Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Education London and this is our last minute top tips for GCSE English Language Paper 2. So as you know this is being sent this Monday and what I wanted to do is provide some last minute top tips for the question. Now uh, many of my own students have also asked do I start off with section A or do I start off with section B? So my personal advice if I was to sit this exam is to start off with section B. The reason being is because section B, question 5, is the most important question. It's worth 40 marks, okay? That question alone, as you can see, is worth 40 marks. So what I would say is to crack on and get started, started with that question and obviously give yourself exactly 45 minutes for this question. Um, so spend the first 5 minutes planning, the next 30 minutes writing, and the last five minutes checking over your work. Remember, ambitious vocabulary using a range of language techniques or de forest and using a range of punctuation. And then after the 45 minutes are done, you quickly move on to section A. Remember, time management is key for this exam. You have to be quick. Um, so remember, when you read the insert, uh, once, you re once you read the insert, you need to look at the questions. So in simple terms, you need to read the questions before reading the insert. This is because this will save you time in the exam. Instead of just wasting time, you already know what you're looking out for whilst reading the insert. So read the questions beforehand and then read the insert. And when you read the insert, make sure as you read, you annotate it for language and structure. Okay, I see a lot of students, they read it once and they go over it again and they start annotating the second time round. You don't have time for that. The time is extremely short. So as you read, make sure you annotate it for language and structure and that will save you time and allow you to score top marks. So question one, don't um, you know spend too long on it. Um, again, literally four minutes and you can move on. So there's not much to say here. Question two, remember, do not, ident do not talk about language here. You do not score any marks here for language. You're simply writing a summary of the different experiences, for example. Um, so you may use the acronym SQIL, so statement, quotation, inference, link. So you do two of these paragraphs to score eight out of eight. And as mentioned in the notes here, no, uh, no marks for language or structure. Um, so again, 10 minutes on that and then you move on. And then question three, again, fortunately, this question is, is not new to you. You've done something similar to this in language paper one. So it's the language analysis question. It's worth 12 marks. Remember, aim to write three petal paragraphs or three peel paragraphs. And remember, zoom in. So look at a particular word, look at the connotations and see how it helps answering the question. And to score top marks, look at the effect. How is it effective? Why has the writer used this particular technique for effect? That's how you score the top marks for question three. Um, and then question four, the last question for section A, very important, 16 marks. You should be aiming to write three to four paragraphs comparing the two. Now, again, it will be on the attitudes, for example. So you're comparing the viewpoints and you need to support it with the writer's methods through language and structure. In terms of timing, you'd probably want to spend 20 minutes on this question. And remember, this question is a significant question in deciding if you get your target grade or not. So do not you know, rush this question. Do spend a lot of time on it and do write the best possible answer for your question four. And generally, like some top tips or last minute tips, I would say is just work through the paper quickly. Not too quickly, but quickly to the point where you are able to finish all the questions on time and have some uh, a few minutes to spare towards the end to check over your work. Best of luck for your exams as this is the final uh, chapter, the final English language exam. You all have come a very long way. Um, so yeah, you need to go into that exam and hopefully do your very best for these exams. Um, please subscribe, like and share as we have many more videos on the way. Thank you for watching.